I'm starting an annual tradition of making a series of videos before every Thanksgiving, gathering all of the wisdom I've discovered in the past year and sharing it. Although this is what I strive to do all of the time on this channel, we will condense into this series a practical set of maxims by which you can change your life, as well as suggestions on how you can implement them. Rule 8. Your ancestors were not evil. Although many bemoan the alleged evil of those who came before us, who discovered new continents, fashioned Western civilization, created beauty and high culture, cathedrals, sculptures of such awe and magnificence that we could not fathom it, never mind create it in our times, this is false. In fact, this tradition, which is the perfect union of the societies of biblical Israel and its prophets and holy writ, the society the Hellenic civilization as spread by Alexander, Rome, Athens, and Europe is the closest we've come as a species in our collective project to express the logos in our societies. The amount of good that is being destroyed by allowing our cultures to be spat on, the entire landscape deracinated, our entire democidal immigration system engineered to cause the most possible harm to white natives in Europe and America, and our values and tradition to be torn limb for limb is an affront to God and to teleology. This cannot stand if we have any hope for an enlightened future. As Gustav Mahler, one of the greatest composers of his era, said, tradition is not the worship of ashes, but the preservation of fire. By and large, the spirit of an the ancestors of Western civilization, which flows in the veins of those alive today through an interconnected bio-spirit, is one of tradition faith, honor, history, wisdom, courage, and genius. And yet the preachers of hatred and slow death want all this to disappear forever, precisely because they hate teleology and thus tradition, faith, honor, history, wisdom, courage, and genius, because they have succumbed to the original temptation to desire to be as gods themselves and spurn the commandment of God Almighty. It will be an extremely dystopian future for everyone, a hell on earth, for every race and society if this is allowed to pass. We are locked in a battle against evil. As Chris Langan writes, this world, for all its glitzy technologies and pious, politically correct hypocrisies, is mortally ill. To cure it, we must transcend our past and our present. We must embrace our modern era, not romanticize past eras, but instead transcend both and work from first principles on how to create power structures through which logos and teleology can fruitfully spread without succumbing to self-hatred and let all that is holiest and mightiest in the world lead to death under our knives. An enemy of Western kind is an enemy of God. And we aren't moralized and pretend that we are the pinnacles of morality for all ages because this is simply not true. Let the light shine forth in the darkness. May the peace of our Father in heaven be upon you. Like and subscribe. Peace.